Hey guys, what's up? It's Jungle Wizard 3 here, back with another update video. Um, this is going to be somewhat of a big update, so I'm going to go through all of them pretty quick. Uh, so I might have to make some review or something about each and every title in here. If you want to know more about the movies, or I'll just leave the links down below in the description to the IMDb pages and so on. Um, I had already filmed uh, this update video before, but uh, it was so goddamn dark and I received a couple of more titles today so I just decided to make make it a second time so uh, yeah let's begin right away first up we got The Flamingo Kid with Matt Dillon never seen it but only heard good things about it and then we got Homefront with, uh, with John Cryer this is also known as something else Morgan Stew Stewart's Coming Home or something um, yeah, really nice to have this movie in my collection. This is a Swedish edition. I've never seen this on Swedish DVD before, so I had to pick it up. And then we got um, L.A. Takedown. Looks really cool on this cover. It looks like some sort of Mad Max type thing. Especially this mask right here. Uh, yeah, L.A. Takedown. Then we got a movie called Wildcats with uh, Goldie Horn. And then we got the movie which is supposedly a uh, uh, limited edition. Um, and this was really bad. Uh, not bad, but it was really knocked in this cover art or something. I'm not really sure. But anyway, the movie is Winners Take All. And I ho I've heard some sort of rip off of uh, the movie Rad. And I love Rad, so I just had to pick it up. So yeah, Winners Take All. And it says up here. I no, don't know if you can see it, but yeah, limited edition collection or something. Um, and then we have a double pack with Like Father, Like Son, and uh, Vice Versa. Vice Versa, I don't know how to pronounce it in English, but yeah, really cool. Double pack right there. And then we have another double pack with Soul Man and 18 AM. Yeah, a lot of 80 stuff. And then we got the movie by Brian Trenchard Smith, who I really like many of his movies, especially Turkey Shoot and uh, Dead in Driving. Love those movies. Great atmosphere, so I had to pick up this movie as well. BMX Bandits. As this was the first movie Nicole Kidman ever starred in, so yeah. And for the sake of being safe about that movie, I double dipped and picked it up on a Region 2 as well. Um, BMX Bandits, this UK edition. Um, yeah. And then we have a John Cusack movie, uh, Hot Pursuit. Heard mixed things about it, but yeah, really looking forward to see it. And then we've got River's Edge with Keanu Reeves. Seems to be a pretty dark, if it's a drama or comedy, not really sure, but yeah, I've always wanted to see this, so yeah, River's Edge. Then we have another Matt Dillon movie, uh, Over the Edge. Yeah. And then I picked up this movie because it sounds, seems to be so stupid and but still so fun and cheese at the same time. Hard Ticket to Hawaii. I saw um, Red Letter Media's review of this and I just laughed my ass off so I had to pick it up. And then we got a classic which I've never seen but I've always wanted to see this and the movie is Thelma and Louise. Yeah, with Susan Sarandon and uh, Gina Davis. Oh, I think I've speed, gone speed up a little bit. Then we got Angel, the one from 1984. Yeah. Now there's some more horror down here. Uh, I had to pick up this movie again because the previous edition I had, the disc was scratched and jumped back and forward. So, um, Philosophy of a Knife, four hours or something. Insane. And then we got Inside, French movie. We're looking forward to see that movie. And then we got Dario Argento's Opera or Terror at the Opera, which is uh, considered to be named. An arrow release, gotta love those arrow releases. And then Dario Argento's Inferno. Really cool. Love that movie. 
uh, and then a Swedish horror movie from the 80s, Blood Tracks. Always want to see this, and it just sounds to be so stupid and so hilarious. So I just had to pick it up for the good price. So yeah. And then we got the Toolbox Murders, and this was part of the Studio S movies with all the movies that got banned in Sweden in the late 70s uh, and the early 80s. Uh, now I only need to get my hands on Tourist Trap as well in this Studio S. I already got Tourist Trap in our Region 1, but I just want to get the Region 2 as well. And then, in the honor of Wes Craven, Wes Craven's Invitation to Hell. And then Stephen King adaptation, Cat's Eye, an anthology movie. And then this seems to be, this seems to be really disturbing when I read about it, but it's rated PG, so I don't think it can be that disturbing, but according to this, it sounds really disturbing. She's getting rid of mommy to have daddy all to herself. Uh, Julie Darling, yeah, with Sybil Danning. And then the uh, American Mary by the Soska sisters. Not really need to say anything else about that. And then we got Fast Food Nation, which was actually a limited edition uh, book box set. Uh, which includes a book as well, right there, released by Tartan. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, didn't get bored, and hope to see you again as soon as possible, so see you next time. Bye bye.